Hey, everyone. Um, it's great. Uh, well, actually, let me start off by saying thank you to the Parachains, Parity, uh, Moonbeam for helping lead co coordinating all of this. As uh, Polkadot has, has started to grow and we're building with more teams, it's great to see uh, some of the faces I've been working with online for so long and also great to partner with new uh, projects as well. My name is Robinson Berkey. I lead ecosystem and business development for uh, Akala and Karura. Um, and on the topic of uh, growth in the Polkadot ecosystem, today I'll actually be speaking about um, how Akala is supporting early stage teams uh, in the Polkadot ecosystem. There we go. Um, so uh, I have three, three goals today. Uh, number one is I want you to leave here better understanding what Akala is, how we support the Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem. Number two, uh, I want you to understand what AUSD is, which is our over collateralized stable coin, excuse me. Um, and then number three, um, what is our ecosystem program um, and how does it support builders that are coming into the Polkadot ecosystem? This is me upside down. Uh, <laughs> obviously, something happened with the slide. Uh, but my background is in helping early stage startups with their growth and go-to-market strategies. So prior to Akala, I was at DoorDash for four years leading new verticals for them. And this is our lead team. So some of you in the room may be familiar with some of our founders. So we have four founders. And then we have Dan Reeser, who leads um, uh, growth for Akala and Karura. Um, we are primarily based in New Zealand. Uh, then we have uh, actually about 25% of our team in China and then 25% in the Americas as well. Uh, a few, I guess, facts to help kind of familiarize you uh, with Akala and the Polkadot ecosystem. Um, so we've actually been building uh, on Substrate for three plus years. Um, our engineering team is uh, number one by GitHub commits. Um, we won the first uh, parachain slot auctions for Polkadot and Kusama. Um, and our team is about 50 large or small, however you want to look at it, and it's still 90% focused on engineering and product. Um, it would only make sense for Akala to have kind of the first slide that we're diving into uh, based on AUSD. Um, so AUSD is Akala's main focus, and it's the foundational stablecoin for Polkadot and Kusama. Um, we've been building AUSD since our inception. Um, and we chose the over-collateralized model specifically because it's proven to be the, the most tried and true in the industry to date. And uh, to give you, I guess, an analogy, you can think of AUSD as almost like the die of, of Polkadot. Um, so Akala at its core is a DeFi platform. Um, so we're a DeFi platform powering AUSD, but also powering uh, Polkadot and Kusama and the teams building in the, in the broader ecosystem. So there's four main components. We already went over one, which we'll go over uh, a little bit more later, which is AUSD. Um, but we have three other things, and those three other products are actually there to support AUSD and obviously the broader ecosystem. So number one is we have a DEX. We have a decentralized exchange. Uh, you're probably uh, familiar. But for us, we actually use our DEX, the main use case, uh, is to help facilitate liquidations that happen with AUSD. So since it is a collateralized stablecoin, liquidations do occur. But we have three ways of helping facilitate those liquidations, um, auctions, bots, and then our DEX. Um, and the idea behind this is that we want to get the best price uh, for the collateral, for the user, uh, for their collateral in the event of a liquidation. So we've got our DEX. We've got AUSD. We also have liquid staking. Um, I'm actually going to do a quick shameless plug. If you haven't watched uh, the Akala presentation from Berlin, I uh, highly, highly recommend it. We actually announced um, uh, a huge partnership uh, with, a, with an institutional liquid staking partner um, to do permission DeFi around our liquid staking product. Um, if you're not familiar with liquid staking, um, it, essentially, if you're familiar with DOT and KSM, which I think most of you are, uh, you can stake your DOT or KSM. You can get uh, a derivative, so L DOT or L KSM. And then you can do other things with it, right? So your money's not tied up. You can take it elsewhere. You can collateralize it for AUSD. You can use that AUSD in another DeFi protocol, in an NFT marketplace, in a metaverse. Ultimately, what it does is it gives people the ability to have capital efficiency. Um, lastly, we have our EVM Plus, which is one of the main reasons uh, I'm talking about supporting teams in the Polkadot ecosystem. So um, 
we're probably most, most of us are probably familiar with an EVM, um, but what's the plus? So our EVM plus is both Ethereum and Substrate compatible. When we built it, we knew we would have to build your standard EVM, um, but we also wanted to prioritize one of the best things about Polkadot, which is the power of, su power of Substrate, excuse me. Um, so when you think about Substrate, what does that help us do? We can do things like on-chain scheduling, um, choose your own gas, on-chain oracles, uh, and a number of other things. This is just a quick example of our, of our tech stack, um, so how we visualize it. You kind of have the bottom layer of liquid staking, which can be collateral, collateral for AUSD. We have the DEX, the Akala swap, to help with liquidations. Uh, and then we have AUSD that kind of permeates through our EVM and then supports all of the dApps that build on top of Akala. Um, and then you can see in the EVM layer, we have the on-chain scheduler, on-chain oracles, bring your own gas, et cetera. So I'm going to take a quick pause here um, and briefly go over, I guess, how Akala kind of sees the future. Um, we don't necessarily believe the future is Web3. We actually believe it's probably closer, it's probably in between Web2 and Web3. Let's call it Web2.5, Web if you will. Um, Web2 has done a great job of figuring out optimal user experiences. When we use apps today, we order food, et cetera, whatever it is, you probably have a pretty delightful experience. Um, so our partnership with Current really embodies this kind of Web 2.5 ethos. Um, so in summary, what we're doing here is we're being a yield engine for Current users. So Current users, I think they have, well, it says right here, they have 4 million. Uh, they're based out of New York. Um, and current users are gonna be familiar with the current app, but they're gonna get things like high yield savings. So let's say four or 5%. And I think maybe for a lot of DeFi degens, four or 5% is, uh, is nothing. Um, but I actually, on, on, my, on my way here, I was on my flight and I, I have never looked into this, but I was looking at my Bank of America savings account because I was curious, like what, what is my savings rate? And I, it took, actually took me a while to find it in, in the mobile app. But when I found it, it was, I think, 0.05%. So when we think about a world where you can get 4 or 5%, that's a drastic difference. Um, so for us, with the partnership with Current.com, which should be going live towards the end of this year, uh, our main goal is to be that DeFi yield engine to improve financial outcomes for those users without them having to worry about the complexity of DeFi. Another partnership that's in this kind of Web 2.5 ethos is our partnership with Project Bankman. This will actually be going live much sooner, most likely within the next quarter. So Project Bankman is powered by Akala, and what they are at their core is an enterprise loyalty solution. Um, so one of their partners, I can give you an example, is the Chive. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, the Chive is a media, a media outlet, um, an American media outlet. They have about three million users. Um, and Venkman essentially uh, will tokenize their loyalty program or loyalty programs um, and make rewards uh, tradable, lendable, and in just in general more valuable. So we're really excited about this partnership and some of the other um, real world partners that they are partnering with as well um, and making this kind of Web 2.5 or hybrid DAP thesis come to life. All right, we know a little bit about Akala. Now let's touch on AUSD, and then we can go more into the ecosystem program. All right, so the theme today is buckets. I'm gonna present all the information in buckets. Uh, so the first thing about AUSD is that it's decentralized and it's over-collateralized. I feel like I need to say this a few times, decentralized and over-collateralized. Um, so recently there's been a lot of, uh, I guess, fear and uncertainty around stable coins, which is completely understandable given recent events. Uh, that being said, not all stable coins are made equal. In fact, AUSD is actually very different than some other ones that have had issues as of late. So in a second, we'll go over kind of the components of this decentralized and collater over collateralized component. Um, number two, it's a liquidity generator. So um, it helps you, let's say you have DOT, you have KSM, you know, you want, you're long those assets, maybe you got them at a great price, but you want to go and do something else, right? You don't want your money just to be locked up. Um, you can collateralize those assets and mint AUSD and then go do those other things. And then lastly, it's a gateway for fintech users, uh, and we'll go over what that means as well. So the first bucket, the over-collateralized component. So the first one is easy, and there's five things that make, this up, make, make up the over-collateralized component. The first one is it's pegged to the US dollar. That's easy. 
Uh, the second is that it's over collateralized. So currently we accept dot, L dot, KSM, LKSM, ACA, and KAR. And we'll go over uh, other assets that we're looking to onboard as well. Um, the third is that it's censorship resistant, so it's backed only by decentralized assets. Um, it's secure and efficient, so we uh, do all of our liquidations on chain. We actually are very similar to the DAI model, but some of the things that we specifically focused on improving when we built AUSD was how DAI facilitates liquidations. Uh, for those of you that are familiar, there's something called Black Thursday where DAI had uh, a pretty big sell-off, and I won't, won't get too technical, um, but we've done a few things uh, to make sure that that doesn't happen with AUSD. Um, and then lastly, it's multi-chain. So uh, AUSD is uh, fungible both on Akala and Karura. It can be trustlessly transferred to any parachain. Um, and we actually just launched a wormhole bridge on Akala and Karura. Um, so I think for the first time, um, someone please come up to me after and correct me if I'm wrong, you'll be able to transfer AUSD from Polkadot to Kusama, so from Akala to Karura. So if you, let's say you have a loan on Kusama, you can take your ASD, AUSD on Polkadot, transfer it, and then pay off that loan on Kusama. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, so it's a, second, it's a liquidity generator. So we've been over this a little bit, but just a quick example, and I'm, these numbers aren't exactly right, but just to give you the idea. Um, so let's say you have 100 DOT. You can stake that DOT on Akala. You can earn your 14% in staking rewards. That's great. Normally, that's where the buck stops. Um, we then mint L DOT. Um, which is your, your dot derivative. You can then take that, so let's say you, you have 100 dot, now you get L dot, kind of have 200 dot in a way, and you take that and you collateralize it to mint AUSD. So what you've done is you've, you've taken an asset that historically you would have just staked and left there, and now you can do other things with it. Because once you have that AUSD, you can participate in DeFi protocols, NFT marketplaces, metaverses, et cetera. And lastly, it's a gateway for fintech users. So um, this is a similar uh, tech stack um, uh, image or graphic. Uh, and really what AUSD does is it gives us the ability to seamlessly integrate um, with quote unquote real world uh, companies or, or fintechs, et cetera. Uh, having that stable currency makes any integration we're thinking about doing just a little bit easier. Um, so process for assets uh, becoming collateral for AUSD. Um, so I mentioned the wormhole bridge. We're really excited about this partnership. Um, I think you can expect some assets like ETH and BTC to be collateral to mint AUSD very soon, given this wormhole partnership. But we really want to support parachains. Uh, and we want to support uh, those tokens in, in minting AUSD. So we have a process currently we just stood up uh, for becoming collateral to mint AUSD. Uh, I'll go over it high level. Um, but essentially, you want to first list uh, a pair on our swap. So you want to have a pair with AUSD, and if you remember, the reason we need to do that is to help facilitate liquidations. Um, so once you do that, we actually outsource all of our risk assessment to Gauntlet, a third party. So then they'll review the, the swap, or the review the pair, and they'll deem if the liquidity is deep enough, um, and a few other things. Uh, once they give the okay, then we have the community vote on it, and then you're an asset to mint AUSD. Um, so this is definitely something we're going to focus on a lot coming up and making sure that parachain assets are available uh, to be collateral for AUSC. This is a graphic I, 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 just, I just like to show these next, next uh, few slides because I think they're interesting. So um, as we look, we're pretty familiar with this, right? We have the parachains. They trustlessly communicate. But then you have the dApps or the projects on top of those parachains. And then you have AUSD that's being kind of permeated through all of that. Um, and as we zoom out a little bit, um, we start to see what Polkadot looks like uh, with 100 parachains. And it's not just 100, right? It's dApps on top of them or the projects they're associated with. And you have this, like, this proliferation of growth. Um, and then your head explodes when you add in Kusama, and there's another 100 and, and all the dApps, et cetera, associated with that. So I just like this slide because it helps give perspective of the backbone that AUSD provides in terms of a currency for, for uh, the, the ecosystem. Awesome. We know a little bit about Akala. We know a little bit about AUSD. Now let's talk about our ecosystem program. Um, so again, buckets are the theme, everyone. Three buckets for the program. Um, so we first, we have our uh, uh, $250 million AUSD ecosystem fund. So this fund exists to help projects, parachains, dApps, 
get funding from top crypto VCs in the space, or, or just we're actually onboarding some Web2 VCs as well. Um, the second bucket here is a call of foundation grants. It's pretty standard to your normal kind of grant program that you'd expect. However, we, we do um, add in a few things that we expect, I guess you can say. Um, and lastly, and somewhat of an announcement, is our Call of Builders program. Um, so I'm really excited uh, to launch this, and it coincides with our EVM Plus launch. So we just launched our EVM Plus. Remember, the Plus is substrate compatibility. Um, so let's dive into, I guess, a little bit more about what some of these mean. So the $250 million AUSD ecosystem fund, again, is there to support projects, parachains, dApps, that have a strong AUSD use case. So we're helping projects today, even in this market, get funding um, to, to make their project come to life and deliver value to their users. Um, but I think when, when we think about the uh, when we think about the AUSD ecosystem, there's a number of crypto VCs, um, but there's also a number of parachains that help support us. And I really, I really want to give a quick shout out to them. Um, it's As I'm going to do this without looking. Astar, Centrifuge, Engine, Hydra. All right, I'm cheating. Manta, Moonbeam, Origin Trail, Parallel Finance, and Zeitgeist. Um, so big shout out to them. And the last thing I want to say about the ecosystem fund is that remember, it's an a AUSD use case is all we look for. Um, we, this is completely chain agnostic. Um, so we don't care what chain uh, this project is deployed on or uh, what, if, what parachain it is. If there's a strong AUSD use case, we want to support. So our, our grant program. Um, so we subsidize up to $50,000 in AUSD. Um, but we have three things that we want to see um, in our grant program. Uh, so number one, uh, it has to be open source. Number two is we want it to be a technically focused project. Um, so we typically implement technical milestones. Um, and then lastly, we want it to result in a proof of concept, right? So we have somewhat rigorous standards, but the reason being is that we actually put a lot of effort into the projects that uh, come on to our grants program, ultimately get accepted and get a grant. And lastly is our builders program. Um, so super excited to announce this. Again, our EVM Plus is live. We've had a few dApps go live already. Um, but with our builders program, we're going to support in four ways. Um, so number one is technical support from one of the top teams in the Polkadot ecosystem, both live and via asynchronous communication, let's say Slack, Telegram, whatever your pleasure is there. Um, co consultation. So we're going to support from a brand and a marketing perspective, as well as community building. Um, liquidity support, one of the most important things when you're starting a project is where do I get the liquidity from? Um, AUSD is a liquidity generator. Um, so this is something we're going to help with all the projects that are building with us. And then lastly uh, is tokenomics and DeFi advisory. Uh, this is one of those things where we've been there. Uh, we've, we've had to design our tokenomics model. We are by definition, a DeFi platform. So this is really where we're going to be able to lean in and help um, from both a technical perspective and all the other ones mentioned. So that's it. Let's build. Um, one thing I did want to say, and I think uh, it probably falls on deaf ears in this room, but Polkadot is really, truly just getting started. I know Polkadot's been around for a while, but the foundational tech has literally been live for a few months. Um, and I know, obviously, the market isn't, uh, isn't the best, and everyone has an opinion on that. Um, but the foundational tech's been live for a few months, and Parachain's literally just a few months longer than that. So uh, despite the market, now is the time where the growth is happening. Um, now is the time for us to put in the work, build products and services that ultimately deliver value to end users. Um, Again, my name's Robinson. Thank you all for the time. And if you have any questions, uh, please come find me after.